Hello, I'm Arthur Hart, software engineer and the traveler. Welcome to the first episode of Going Walkabout, where I'm going to build a travel blogging app. Today, no walking around, not looking at the scenery, but we get behind the computer and we're going to get some real work done. In this first episode, we dive into authorization and registration, because every app needs that. We need to know who we're dealing with. Let's get behind the computer and get started with building an iOS application. Yes, an iOS application, because I'm an iPhone user and I do have some development experience for iOS. Android would be interesting, and maybe later down the track I'll get into that as well, but would be a much more steep learning curve for me to do, so for now we'll stick to iOS application. The first thing I did was creating a standard tabbed application. I will need tabs later on in the process, so this gives us a good starting point to get started with. Now here you see the main view controller and the only thing I did here is create a little bit of a helper function to make it easy to create this controller from code. The next thing I did was creating a storyboard that creates the whole login sequence. I like storyboards because it's just much easier to create a visual layout than do it all in code. Here in the storyboard we see a, a startup view controller, we see a sign up with a name, email and password, we see a login with an email and a password and the reset password so that we have the ability to reset the password in case we forgot that. You might have noticed that I don't pay a lot of attention to the user interface yet. That's on purpose. I first want to get it working and then later I'll start polishing to make it a nice user interface. This is also a method I will use throughout the whole series. First get it working, then refine it, improve it, refine it, improve it until it is the way I want to have it. But first we need to take some technical hurdles and to get that done. That's always my main objective. For the actual authentication I use Firebase. It's super easy to use and it works on iOS, Android and the web. It's a complete all-in-one authentication package. All you need to do is add Firebase to your port file. Now we get into the logic, but the logic starts with the launch screen. Every time when you start an iOS app it will first launch this screen. And it does that before it has done any kind of initialization of the app. So it gets on your screen very quickly. When the initialization of your application is done, it will then move on to your initial view controller. And for the initial view controller, I use this startup view controller. Now there are many examples uh, about Firebase that help you setting it up and, uh, building it and putting it into your application but none of them really go into how to do it in a larger application. This is my way of doing it. So my startup view controller is my main view controller and in that main view controller I have the logic to decide what to do with authentication. So when the view appears, it adds a listener on Firebase for any authentication changes. If the user is not nil, you have an authenticated user and you can move on to your main view controller. Now if the user is still nil, it means it's not authenticated. And in that particular scenario that we see here, we have two different scenarios. If it is the first app launch, then you need to go and register the user. When it is not the first app launch, you will go and perform the login sequence. Of course this can be mistaken because the user might have reinstalled the application and still want to go to the register. So therefore in the storyboard we provide the way to link from one screen to another. Now we can dive directly into the register view controller. What is actually very very simple. We set a few outlets for the fields we want to use. We do a little bit of uh, validation on fields being filled and a password having a length of six before we enable the sign up button and then we get into this sign up action. We set a spinner for waiting animation and then we use the Firebase authentication interface to create a user. When that creating the user is done, we stop the animation. 
if there's an error we show the error and in all the other cases we dismiss the view controller and we go back to our startup view controller and that will then get an event that the authentication is changed and continue from there on so it's really straightforward and very simple to do it's about the same for the login view controller of course we set up a few outlets again uh, we do some validation on the fields and then we do the login action we just sign on with the email and password and when that is all correct we dismiss the view controller and we go back to the startup view controller that again does the logic for authenticating the user and moving on to the main application it's all that simple now let's have a look how this looks in action we're building we launch the launch screen and yes it's the first time launch so we get up into the sign up controller now if we already have an account we can click here and go to the login account or we can go back to the sign up uh, view controller and when we're in the login view controller we can also do the reset password and we hardly had anything to do for it so let's sign in and see where we end up then and now we end up in our main view controller where we can log, in, log out and we can repeat the same thing so this concludes the first episode of go and walk about we can now create users we can authenticate users and we can move on to the next topic now of course i need to say that uh, those users are only created in firebase we don't have them in a data store for later references but that's also something we address in a later episode well there you have it we can register new users and we can log in existing users that was the goal for today if you like this video please like subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified for the next video in the next episode we're going to dive into creating trips it's a travel app so it's essential we get that done as well see you next week Oh, <laughs>